So you want to start creating content, but you have no idea what niche to dive into. And I know you've heard all of these gurus tell you that you should talk about what you love or that you are the niche and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? You already know that. We all know that. But in this video, I'm going to show you an actionable step-by-step -step process that you can follow along while watching. I guarantee you, if you follow these steps with a pen and paper or with a blank document, you will find your own niche that no one else can replicate. And I guarantee that. Today, I'm going to show you the Ikigai framework. Now, this is the template that we're going to be using today. It's called the Ikigai template. I made it myself. I share this template around to aspiring creators who are struggling to choose their niche or to, you know, make up content ideas that feel true and authentic to them. And it also really helps choosing the business model of your entire personal brand. Now, here's a spoiler warning for you. If you really think hard during the process of creating your Ikigai, this might take about one to two hours. If you be lazy and, you know, just half ass it, then it'll take a while. Even if it doesn't take a while and you half ass it, then sooner or later, you're gonna realize, oh shit, I don't like this niche, what do I do? So take a deep breath and prepare yourself. We're gonna do this together. If you're not ready now, save this video to your watch later playlist and watch it later, go. Alrighty, welcome to Ken's Ikigai. This is what my Ikigai looks like. Now we're gonna start off by writing your passions. So first of all, write passion as your first big heading. Now, underneath your passion heading, you're going to write down all of the things that you love. Every single thing that you can think of in life that you love, you're going to write it down in this box. And there's no need to complicate it. You can just write down in single words like I have. For example, filming, short form video. That is not one single word. <laughs> Editing, writing, music, movies, God, home, swimming, Asian, Indonesia, <laughs> games. You know what I mean, right? I literally wrote down everything that I can think of that is pretty much meaningful to me in my life. If you're on your notebook, you can just use dot point form, like it's pretty easy. So I pause this video and come back when you've written down all of your passions. And I mean it, like literally write down everything, everything. What you're gonna do next is pretty much use all of this. If you're on computer, you can copy and paste all of your passions and put it into vocations. Now I've structured mine, just ignore it for a second. But what you want to do is copy and paste it underneath the heading called vocation. Then what you're going to do is circle the ones that you are good at. This includes activities, tasks, topics, knowledge, and education. So let me just put it at the bottom here just to show you guys how I would do it. What I did was I circled the ones that I actually knew and enjoyed doing. For example, business, I know social media, I know branding, I love entrepreneurship, I know a lot about that. I like to do some storytelling, I love content creation. Cross out the ones that you are not well known at and you are not good at. For example, I'm not the best weightlifter, so I'm not gonna circle that. Not the best at calisthenics, etc., etc. right? What I did here is pretty much organize them underneath subheadings. So for example, short form content. I love doing short form content and I'm also good at it. That's why I put it as a subheading. I also like uh, personal branding. I'm also good at self-improvement and film and cinema. So I made an equation that adds all four of these niches together. And that's a hint for what we're gonna do next. Once you finish writing all of your vocations down, the third heading you're going to write is mission. So write mission. Now what you're gonna do is do the exact same thing as last time and copy and paste all of your vocations into this category. I'm just gonna put it near the bottom, just like so, because I've already finished mine. Now what you wanna do is select the ones that you can serve to the world the most. For example, I can provide all of these. I can help people write, film, edit, etc., and make short form content. I can also provide tips on personal branding. So I'm gonna circle that. But in terms of self-improvement, I'm gonna cross out boxing because I can't really serve anyone as a boxer or as a boxing guru. And I'm gonna cross out health and diet. I'm also gonna cross out fitness and lifestyle while we're at it. Cause I don't see myself serving those things to the world. And remember, all of these are in consideration of your actual content. So I'm gonna circle the ones and highlight the ones that I didn't cross out just like so. Right now, what you want to do next is create one single quote that summarizes your entire mission. This is what I did here. One long sentence that summarizes your entire mission. Just remember, this is temporary. Like everyone's mission changes like every day. Like we don't commit to one mission and stick to it for the rest of our lives, especially me like this guy can change next week. Right. So, you know, don't worry, especially if you're a young creator. 
Don't worry about it. Just write down a quote and write down all the things that you can serve to the world. For now. For now. So what I wrote is helping content creators grow their personal brands with short form video content while, so that's one part of it, while sharing my personal self-improvement philosophies through film and cinema. So that is pretty much my mission in one big quote. And as you can probably tell, this quote is pretty much summarizes my entire niche, which is me. I am this niche. I am the niche of content creation, personal branding, short form videos, self-improvement and cinema all combined, which I'm pretty sure you can't think of anyone who is doing the same thing as me, right? So yeah, that is pretty much how you become a unique creator with a wow factor that no one else has. Okay, so once you have done your mission, you're going to move on to the next and final heading and write down profession. And from your mission, you're going to come up with business ideas or career paths that you can pursue according to your mission. We're going to stick to the content for now. So this is what I wrote down for my content niche. The content that I create will be short form reels, TikToks and shorts, as well as long form YouTube videos. I also do X text post, but you can be even more specific. For example, like if you talk about niche one for like half of the week and niche two or the second half of the week, like I do, then you can write that down. Just be a little specific, be broad. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, action is what gets you growing. If you need help creating your Ikigai, you can join me inside my creator community where we do daily calls every single day and help each other build our personal brands. The link for that is in the description and I hope to see you inside.